recently got it, and I've just been thinking about it for a while. So here are my thoughts on it currently. Um, if you've ever noticed, um, people don't like to get good at specific things. They don't. They like to spread out all of their stuff. They don't specialize, which sucks. Because a jack of all trades isn't as good as someone who's good at one specific thing at that one specific thing. Right, that one they got though once they got a one specific thing, he should probably be good at those other things too, you know? Like in TF two, if you get if you get really good at sniper, you can demolish any soldier main, any scout main, any pyro main. Not pyro main, pyro I don't understand pyro at all. I don't it doesn't make any sense to me. Um I, I've tried playing and you just get demolished, I don't fucking know why it, it's the weirdest class. Um Demo. Yeah, I could just demolish any demo main. I can demolish any spy main. I can demolish any any like huntsman guy main. Cause I just yeah, huntsman. It's pretty fun, I guess. But that's that's beside the point. The um the thing is, what is it? The problem with people just skimming over shit is that they make very poor financial decisions. Like. In Airsoft, um, there there's about like three or four brands that are actually good. Like they're actually like worth their money. I think Tokyo Movie's Overkill. I think it's dumb. All right, it's just, it's just for fucking some sort of Airsoft weeaboo fag. I don't know. Like oh, Japan, oh, they got really good hop ups, but they also shoot at 200 FPS. I'm gonna stick point two eight on it. I don't know what time the target is. Ooh. I, I don't get it. I don't get it, but um, the only fucking brands you should be using are GMP, SEMA, ENL, and uh, maybe Tokyo Murray. Probably Tokyo Murray. Tokyo Murray makes some cool shit, I guess. But there are some other brands, too, for other specific guns. Like Game Face makes some pretty good sniper rifles, too. Alright. And the thing is, the fucking thing is, Oh yeah, D-Boys. D-Boys too. If you're a tech, uh, the best gun for you is a D-Boys AK. And not too. That, that's the thing too. Um, these people don't know anything about airsoft guns. The people who buy airsoft guns know absolutely nothing. The people who work on airsoft guns know absolutely nothing. I mean, sure, they're like, oh, I got shim a gearbox. Ooh. You ask them a question, like, what do you think M4 or AK is better? You're like, I think M4 has got rails on it. Ooh. I think it's a good guy use it. Good, good guys are our military. Even though the Russian military has done fucking way more good things like ever since the seceded from the Soviet Union than the United States has. And um, AKs are actually better for um, like conventional warfare. Like 545 is a fucking better round than 556. Because all you need to do is just land a fucking shot on someone. Like you shoot them in like a toe and they're out of the fight. That's all you need to do. Lower recoil. It's uh, more lethal out to longer ranges, so you're not just going to be poking holes on people and shit. Whatever, that, that, that kind of stuff. Um, what, what is there? Oh yeah, uh, back to this. Uh, AKs in Airsoft. They're, they're fucking... They're, they're the best guns. They're the best guns. That's not a, that's not a subjective point of view... Uh, point of view. Uh, ENL makes the most durable guns out there. It, it, I'm sorry, it just does. ENL makes the most durable guns out there. That's a fact. That's not disputable. It, it they just do. They can get run over by cars. They can be dropped from 50 feet. Uh, they can be submerged in ice water. They can be fucking frozen. I mean, you like damage the bucking. That's the fucking bucking. You want to steal bucking? Get a steel bucking. Fuck you. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's. I, 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 that's what it is. It, 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 these are not subjective points of view. A, a SEMA beats a GNG. ENL beats GNG. Everything beats GNG. I mean, GNG is like, it, if you're not going to get any of those other ones, they get a GNG, honestly, because they're, 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 you can get them for kind of cheap, I guess. Like, it's a $200 AK, I think. But um, the thing is, uh, ENL actually sells shit for cheaper than GNG. And it, it's better than GNG. I, that's all I have to say for it. It's just better than GNG. Every way. It's just, it's just, it's just better. Just fuck it. It's, I'm sorry, it's better. 
it comes with an M110 spring pre-installed. Like, I don't think you understand this, but when a gun comes with an M110 pre spring pre-installed in it, it's a it's an expert gun. All right, it's a it's a weird little place where people want to run at 390 feet per second, so your .28s go at 330. That, that's where it's at, man. That is exactly where it's at. And the thing is, um, what is it? What, what is the thing? These the, the fucking air softers, like the people who go and they have these YouTube channels where they go, ooh, the M4 is good, ugh. Right? So those, let me not actually do that, but like they run M4 and like, the M4 is cool, like it's like a given, right? Those people don't know anything about Airsoft, obviously, right? But they're just influencing so many fucking people. And they're fucking sponsored, too, which is the worst thing. They, they're they sponsored by the worst companies out there. Like, all the people who are sponsored live in California. So they're like, ooh, Lee Force is a good brand. Ooh, the Crossman. Uh, Crossman. Crossman will never be sponsored. I wish it was. It's like ten times better than the Lee Force. It's just ten times better than Elite Force. I'm sorry, guys. Fucking, you shouldn't be using point two O's in your gun. Period. Honestly, I I don't think you should ever. It's fucking stupid. Unless you're running like CQB, but even then, in CQB, um, if your gun is at like 400 FPS and you're using two O's, it's it's gonna hurt real bad. Cause uh, velocity is penetration, not uh, inertia. I mean, inertia plays a part in it. Yeah, sure. But that's like to keep this shit keep the heat going. But like through like penetration through like skin and shit, that's just straight up velocity. That's why bulletproof like vests and shit are rated for velocity and shit. Like I mean, it comes to a certain point where like, oh, um, this 2,100 FPS bullet um, can be taken by this AR 500 plate, right? It's going 2,100 FPS. It's an AK bullet, and if it's uh if it weighs five pounds, it will go through the plate, <laughs> like like that kind of shit. So um, yeah. But um, seriously though, these um these things. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, with the airsoft, I have never seen anyone recommend an AK either. And yeah, I know I'm going like an autistic rant about it, but. It's the fucking truth. I don't care. I don't give a shit what your opinion on the truth is. Alright? If a fucking Spurg is right, the, a Spurg is fucking right. I, that's it. Doesn't matter how fucking Spurgy he is, he is right. And these fucking people are empirical. The best forum out there has a single admin that bans you if you start debating people. Like, are you fucking kidding me? That is the whole point of a forum, is to debate, alright? The whole point of it is to debate. Because, one, you get a you get a fucking circle jerk of the same ideas, you will guaranteed be wrong because you're not willing to change. It, 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 it implies a confirmation bias in you as community-wide. So, a forum, if it's not made to debate, it should be made to debate. It should be forced to debate because what a debate is, it's disagreeing and providing evidence. That is what debate is, is disagreeing and providing evidence. I, I shit you not, banning debate is banning free speech. It, it just is. All right, it's banning free speech with evidence. And, um, yeah. I'm not going to get into the points as to, like, why the AK is better. Because I, I've, I, I think I've, I've already done, like, a video on that, I think. But, um, there are just other things, though. There are just other things. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Here's the crisis. Here, here, here's the crisis. This is the crisis. You see this shit? You fucking drop this thing from like two feet high up, it will crack and half and explode. <laughs> this shit is 100% garbage. 
Hundred percent. None of these parts even fucking match. These things aren't even accurate, man. This this shit right here sucks ass. Do not buy it. Please do not buy it. And this is like every gun out there. Every fucking gun. They just have different faults, right? SEMA, it's only fault I know it is quality control. You know how you fix that? You fucking learn to open a gearbox up. You know how long that takes? A good like half hour. Like if you get all the information in one spot and you watch all the videos in mean, a half hour. Yeah. Probably like two hours. Four or five hours max. You know how long it took for me to, to be a tech? Basically, like how to actually open up a gearbox and assemble it and shit, and like learn about like sorbethane pads and like what this does, what that does. Like four hours, All right? It's not that fucking hard, man. It's not that fucking hard, All right? And if we had people working on their shit more, right? Like we had them doing things, we would um, we I think we'd have a better airsoft thing. We we would. It would be better because we just have people that actually know things about the guns. So we'd have a lot more people going, hey, guys, you should really not run M4s because they're fucking trash. You should start running AKs or G36s or MP5s because they're just better. Specifically SEMA MP5s. Like, that is what we need. That's more than we need. Uh, that's more than we need. That's more than we need. I'm listening to my own voice. Um, that's what we need currently. We just need a brand that is supreme. You know, I mean, I could be that brand. I could definitely be that brand. I just need to, like, open up a factory or, like, make enough money to buy a factory or some shit. Maybe get some money off Patreon or something. Maybe get some, send a lot of the profits out to them instead of expanding. Get back to them. I don't like taking money from people. It's exploitation. Charity is exploitation. I'm sorry, guys. It just is. I think it's tax people. Because yeah, sure, it's exploitation, but it's like, it's stealing, you know. It's, dude, you live in this country, you have to pay taxes, I'm sorry. Instead of going, can you please give me money, please, please give me money, money, please, please, money. And then the person receives like fucking $50 and shit. There are people who like own Corvettes, and that's how they get their money. It's like fucking begging and shit. Like, they get like 50 bucks an hour or something. They that kind of stuff. It's ridiculous. But, um, yeah. Let's get back to this concentration of, uh, of, like, effort thing. And something I just hate about people, you know? They don't get good at something. So, whatever they do and you want to participate with them in it, and you're good at that thing, they are not going to be as good as you, just on average. I've only met, like, fucking, like, two people that are better than me in Team Fortress 2. Two people. Alright? Two people who fucking kick my ass. I'm not gonna name names because I don't really remember the names. I didn't fucking add them. They're toxic pieces of shit. But, yeah. That This is me. I have a fucking, um, what do you call that? A hand IQ? Is it motor, motor skills? Motor, motor IQ of 120 and a performance IQ of 130. I'm not even that fucking rare, okay? I'm like 1 in 50 people, basically. Probably like 1 in 100. Most likely, because, um, like I have other things, but they don't have my interest and stuff. They just don't. So that I'm, like, one in, like, 2,000, probably, because I've come across 2,000 people, definitely, and, yeah, I'm, like, one in 2,000. I've never come across someone like me. And it's not like, oh, I'm unique, oh, I'm cool, it's just, like, fuck, I can't find anyone in Airsoft that's actually remotely skilled enough to actually be in my, uh, squad like, take orders, like, listen, actually shoot and shit, and have, like, the gun that I can, that we can both work on, and that we're both familiar with, I mean, actually, no, not really, I don't give a shit about that, but, like, they didn't use an AK, they're smart enough to actually get an AK, they're, they're basically just like me, I mean, I got an AK by accident, and no shit, fuck, I just, like, I just, all I do, like, when I do shit is, like, try to save money, so I was like, oh, look, this thing comes with a fucking M120 spring. It's 470 FPS out of the box. Holy shit, man. Are you serious? 
Are you kidding me? It's only for 138 bucks. What the fuck is this? This is an amazing deal. Thanks, Arizona Mega Store. <laughs> and that's much how it goes. You know? I mean, you can do it yourself for cheap. So, yeah. Well, anyways, back to the thing that I keep sidetracking off of. Uh, people, I'm just going to tell you this is a fact. I, I'm, it's going to sound really like ego and you're like, oh, I'm better than you. It, it, it's more like I'm sad because I can't find anyone to play with because a lot of things require teamwork, all right? Because teamwork is really fucking overpowered. It, it's broken. Valve needs to fix teamwork. <laughs> Like, um, sometimes I'm just completely overpowered by just five people doing the same thing that counter me. Like, what I'm doing. Like, if I go play Sniper, I have five Mexican kids with danger backs, heart scoping into spawn. I mean, I don't rage quit. I very rarely rage quit. And by very rarely, I mean I haven't rage quit since, like, 2015 or some shit. Like, that kind of stuff. And, um, back to the thing, um, I don't have anyone, I don't know anyone that's nearly even, like, gets close to, to as good as me at anything, like, and that's including Airsoft, no one is as good as me at aiming shit, no one is as good as me at fucking, like, selecting guns and shit, no one is as good as me at, uh, like, fucking, what, what is there, what am I good at, like, figuring out, like, flanks and shit? Yes, it's like secret, so. Like, no, you don't have that secret. Like, figuring out specifically, like, figuring out. I need, like, ideas, people. Because I'm not an original person. I'm not creative at all. I'm not, like, sure I can, like, jerry rig some shit, and that's, like, creativity. That's, like, physical creativity. I'm talking about, like, idea creativity. Like, oh, look, if we go around a specific path and do this specific thing, because there's that thing right there, and it does that, and we need to do this to counteract that. Um, no specific thing to counteract that we might get a might we will get over there and we'll get these eight people that aren't noticing anything at all. You know that kind of shit. And that's the kind of shit I love. I want people who are smarter than me. How about that? I want people who are smarter than me so they can improve my skills as it. But I really I don't even know about skill improvement. I need some like philosophy guy to help me out with this shit. So I need, I need, I basically need a little Stefan Molyneux you as a friend. But I don't have any fucking friends, man. I don't. I don't have any fucking friends without fucking Asperger's. You know, I say something, you know, I offend them. They're so fucking chewy that, um, they, they act like they're still my friend, you know? And then behind my back and talk mad fucking shit about me and then don't ever see me again. That kind of stuff. And those people are everywhere, so... Yeah, don't don't mistake. Like, here's a pro tip for you. Um, like to spot a Jew, and this is like anime. You could have Asians. I'm calling them fucking Jews. To spot a Jew like that is um, they're really nice. It's like, it's like I'm a nice guy, you know. I mean, they could either be like oh, I'm a really nice guy, like you're like that, or like they just like a little bit too nice to you. Like it's a, it's a, it's a red flag thing. That person is going to be a complete and total fucking piece of shit because he's so fucking insecure. He's so insecure about him being nice that he has to tell people that he's being nice or be super fucking nice. You know, like that that kind of guy. Those kind of people just make me fucking sick. They, they just do. I, I, I get fooled like every fucking time, right? They're fucking awful. They're fucking awful. And... They're so well disguised. They're so good at disguising. Like, every single time, they're just really good at disguising. You don't get enough information. Like, I'm not even sure if Sam Hyde is Jewing us, Jewing us or not. Because he wanted fucking the needle drop. And he was like, I'm a beta male. I'm a nice guy. And I was like, he sounds like a nice guy. Then I see him, like, fucking verbally abusing an actor and shit. Like, he's the same old guy. He's like, I want to help the show. And he's like, get out, you fucking piece of shit. 
You bitch. And if that was, I mean, it wasn't him, it was like his friends, but his friends are, they, they, they act like him. They have to. That's just the way shit works. That's how friends work. That they have to act like you or how you have to share an interest. Right? So if he's sharing, so if he, so if he have, has friends that do that, he didn't say anything to them, right? He's sharing an interest with them by being just a total piece of shit. You know, so Sam Hyde could most likely be a complete and utter fucking piece of garbage. All right, because he does have that fucking mentality, like he could, like he could do shit. Like he's he's really ballsy, like really fucking ballsy. Like he like nearly gets punched in the face like all the fucking time. Not literally like that, but like like every like ten videos he makes. He nearly gets punched in the face by some like fucking angry old dude, probably. And that Bernie Sanders and pausing thing. Um, so if he's really that baldy, he's got the warrior gene, which is um like it's, it's the shit that that uh, makes black people more uh, criminal, just genetically. It's uh it's it's calmness. It's, re- it's like legitimately it's calmness. It's calmness to the point where you can commit a crime. You don't give a fuck about the police. Like, who's you gonna arrest me, huh? You gonna arrest me? And the police catch you like, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of you. You know, the point gun out, the point guns at you and shit. And you're like, what the fuck are you gonna do? And you pull out a gun on them and you get shot. Like, that kind of calmness. That kind of calmness is paired with people being, being pieces of shit. I mean, they can be high achievers, but that's a good, like, one in, like, 100 of those people. Or something, man. So... Yeah. If blacks ever do get their IQ up to 100, they're going to fucking stomp us on the stock market. They're going to fucking stomp us all kinds of shit. Like, they're going to be the soldiers. They're going to be top soldiers. They're going to be, like, really fucking good, but they're still going to have massive amounts of crime because their neighborhoods are shit. We can fix that with Christian morals, sure, but still. We're always going to have dumbass black people. We're going to have tons of niggers. We're going to have tons of fucking spicks. Tons of fucking race traders everywhere. Not just black people. We're just gonna have niggers and black people. They're not gonna fucking go together. They're just gonna fucking kill each other and shit. Whatever. You, you know what I mean. Black crime. It sucks. That type of average IQ of like 115 actually be equal to white. Is there a crime, uh, duh, 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 what you would call it? Like, they do like an equal amount of crime proportionally to their shit. And currently they're 85, so that's a good 30 points away. We could do that. It's called, like, giving them massive amounts of, like, nootropics and shit, which is going to be completely impossible. So blacks will always commit more crimes than whites, no matter what. But, um, the thing is, um, uh, um, 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 uh, um, uh, fuck with you, um, what is that? What is that? What is this thing that I'm doing here? Yeah. So people not focusing on things like Spurgs is a problem. Things people should be fe- should be focusing on, though, just so you get an idea of what it is, is, um... Uh, philosophy, sociology, um, politics, like being politically literate. Yeah, but that's the word, that's the thing I'm doing now, right now. God, I'm Stefan Maloney, I'm not original. Um, what else is there? Being economically literate. Like, those kinds of things. Like, it's just thinking. It's thinking every single day about the most important things. And that's how I live my life. I think about the most important things. And that's why I run a SEMA AK. That's why I fucking have this cheap $20 camera. That's why, um, I don't know. I don't choose when I put on the clothes so I don't have decision uh, fatigue. So I don't play TF2 anymore so I don't have decision fatigue and positive stress fatigue. So I take omega-3 pills every day. And I take, like, a lot of them. That's so why, uh, what? I, uh, I do, I do, what, what do I do that's fun and cool and stuff? 
fucking cool and stuff. That's why I use point two eight on my gun. That's why I use a high cap. That's why I wear a camel back. That's why I have like guys up and shit. That's why I get in, I'm getting philosophy. I'm getting into philosophy. That's why I'm getting into politics. That's why I'm getting into all this other shit. That's why I think. This is the kind of shit I just thought up. I just drummed this shit up like a good 15 minutes ago. And this, this, this is it. This is what it looks like, you know? This, that's what it is. I mean, it's nothing special. I'm not a fucking genius. I'm not like some Da Vinci dude where right? I find like a secret code for the world, like a cheat code for, for real life, you know? I'm not that guy. I'm at my 130 when it comes to thinking. I'm at 130. I'm curious my outcome on some stuff. You'd be like, oh, that's pretty nifty. That's pretty nifty what you came up with. Well, that's pretty nice. Wow.